Jalapino. Apparently, the mad rabbit had sold a Pegasus that he did not exactly own. Lupino always wiggled out of trouble, given time. But he was out of time. The Ravens had figured out that Lupino was a rebel spy. If the fleet reached him first, they'd string him up for that. Never mind the winged horse. Lapino had apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen the winged horse. He'd only sold it. But wait, where was the prisoner? The village was empty. Had, had everybody fled the ravens? Imagine getting a horse up in one of these things. He will be cursing a blue streak. People were frightened these days. Just two weeks past, Renardo had sneaked through an empty town and listened to the raven's call about the Emperor's new taste in ritual sacrifice. And Renardo's blood was up. He just needed to smash something. Just agree to disagree, said Renato. No? Landing everywhere. The advance guard. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lupino first, they'd eat him for breakfast. Or a snack. Ravens weren't picky. If they got hungry, they sometimes forgot to interrogate their prisoners. Even top spies like Lupino. Where had the mad rabbit got to? Renato felt like he was ready to learn new things. It was starting to come back to him. Something you've never completely forgot, like how to freeze time when attacking. The more he fought, the more he'd probably remember.
felt a chill run down his back. Or possibly a flea. Dirty and bloody, Minardo finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing his shuffle. Bernardo recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah, we see this guard owed me 53 ducats, so we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now, I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows, and that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and, oh, his only daughter? That would be worth it. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Skyripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. 